Hello everyone, I'm Sula Gunjin, I'm English teacher in System College, and we are going to do another video lesson with you. I hope everyone is happy, home, and safe, and healthy. Yes. Now we are in Unit 12, my dear friends. We are going to start a new unit again in this video. Yes, in this unit, we are going to talk about weather and nature. I know you know the weather vocabularies, and I know you know the nature vocabularies, but sometimes I'm going to go inside a little and try to make you remember some of the vocabulary words. Yes, and I think uh, in this these days, uh, I feel like nature is resting. We are home away from the nature, and nature is trying to fix its problems, I think. That's what I believe. Let's continue. Yes. Oh, we have a frog here. Okay. Most tree frogs live in trees. They sleep during the day and wake up at night. They don't usually hop. They walk and climb. Tree frogs are very good climbers. Now, why tree frogs? Because tree frogs are different from the other frogs. Normally, generally, frogs hop. But tree frogs walk and climb. And they are very good climbers. Did you know, when an enemy comes near a sleeping, red-eyed tree frog. The frog wakes up and opens its eyes. The enemy gets scared of the red color and runs or flies away. When the enemy looks at the frog's eyes, it gets scared. That's a very good protecting way. Yes, let's look at these vocabulary words. Now, I know you know some of them. It's easy. Okay. Now, cloud. Do you remember what cloud was? Yes, of course. This is cloud. Die. This means to not live anymore. Die. Uh, make. Dry and wet. We have opposite words here and I have a picture for you to see dry and wet. Dry, no water, it's safe. But wet, this monkey, it's raining and not wet. Earth, of course you know earth. Pond, Now, ocean is the biggest. Sea, lake, river, pond. Pond is the smallest water. Supidimus. Gelet. Shake me like that. All of it. Yes. Rainy. Rainy. It's a weather condition. Rainy. And of course, this is sunny. Warm means not hot, not cold. Together. Not hot, not cold. Warm, not hot, not cold. Weather. How about that? Yes. Now, let's continue. Okay, I want you to remember some weather vocabularies. Yes, I know you know some of them. Maybe some of them you don't know. Yes, sun, sunny. Sun, when you look at side on the sky, there is a yellow sun. The weather is sunny. Cloud, there are lots of cloud. It is cloudy, partly cloudy. It means that there is a sun and also a cloud, part 
slightly cloudy. Rainy, rainy. The weather is rainy. It is rainy. Snow, sunny. The weather is snowy. It is snowing. Sleet, sleeting. Sleet. Aslında resimde de anlaşıldığı gibi yağmur kar karışım yani kar ve yağmur beraber yani. Sleet, sleeting. Storm, stormy. Yağmurla beraber şimşek çatması hava durumunda. Storm, stormy. Yes. Lightning. Şimşek çatması. İşte bu olay light. Thunder. Hail, haily. Dolu yağması. Dolu. Windy, wind. Fog, foggy. Ice, icy. Tornado, rainbow. Clear sky. There is nothing. It's clear. No rain, no clouds, no sun. It's clear. It's empty. Hot, warm, cold, freezing. This is very cold. Yes, I think we remember these vocabulary words. So let's continue to our book. Now we have a dialogue. Again, Christy Adam. Again, our globe, magical globe. And I hate rainy weather. Our topic is I hate Rainy weather. Yes, Adam. Look at those clouds. It's going to rain again. I hate rainy weather. Oh no, it's raining. We're going to get wet. Why can't it be warm and sunny all the time? What's happening here? The earth is very dry. Look at the plants and trees. Hey, it's our park. Look, that's the fish pond. There's no water in the pond. There's no grass. The globe wants to tell us something. This is what happens when there's no rain. I love rainy weather. The trees aren't going to die. I'm going to go home now. Rain is great, but I still hate getting wet. Yes. Now, we have a magical globe, as you remember. And this magical globe listens to us and takes us to different places, whatever we're talking about. And in this dialogue, Christy, Adam, and Mikey are talking about weather. They're talking about uh, the weather right now. And they're at the park. So, there's clouds on the sky, and Adam says, oh my god, there's clouds. It is going to rain. And Christy, our other character, says she hates rainy weather. So, the globe, our globe, magical globe, listens to Christy. And since she hates rainy weathers, she, uh, the globe, takes them to a dry place. This place is green and natural. This place is dry. Dry. No water, no green trees. Here, in the first picture, there are green trees. There's water. Here, no trees and no water. The difference between the two pictures. So the glow takes the kids to the dry place. Evet arkadaşlar. Çocuklar parktalar ve yağmur yağmak üzere. Parkta görüyoruz bir tane yani yeşil, tertemiz, sular var, bir küçük gölet var, balıkların yüzdü. Sihirli küre 
onları dinliyor. Ve Christy karakterimiz diyor ki ben yağmurdan nefret ediyorum. Bu yüzden sihirli küre alıyor, onları nereye götürüyor? Kurak iklime sahip bir yere götürüyor. Su yok, yeşil ağaç yok, çok sıcak, güneş. Ve çocukların aradaki farkı görmesini sağlıyor. What's happening here? The earth is very dry. Yes. Kurak iklimi anlatıyorlar aslında. The earth is very dry. Dünya çok kuru. Hiç yeşil yok. Look at the plants and trees. Actually, there is plants and trees. But it's dry. It's not green. It's their part, actually. So the globe does not take them to a different place. The globe takes them to the future, maybe. Yani sihirli küre belki de onları başka bir yere götürmedi bu sefer. Bu sefer onları aslında hey it's our part diyor. Bu esimizin partimiz. Yani maybe olabilecek future'a getirdi çocukları. Yani yağmur yağmazsa ne olabilecek parkta? That's the fish pond. Bu gölet. There's no water, no fish, there's no grass. The globe wants to tell us something. Bu sihirli kürek işte bizde de olsa. İnsanlar belki o zaman ağaçların, yağmurun kıymetini birazcık daha bilirler. The globe wants to tell us something. Sihirli küre bize bir şey söylemek istiyor. Ne söylemeye çalışıyor çocuklara? This is what happens when there is no way. Yani yağmur olmadığında ne olacağını gösteriyor. This is what happens if there is no way. Something. What is the globe telling us? This is what happens when there is no rain. Yağm, yağmadığında aslında parkların, dünyanın olabileceği şeklini gösteriyor. Yes. I hope you understand the dialogue better. Yes. Now they're back to their own park. Now the park. Now the future park. I love rainy weather. The trees aren't going to die. Ağaçlar ne olacak? Ölmeyecek. I'm going to go home now. Rain is great. Rain is good. But I still need getting wet. Wet. This is Christy. She doesn't like getting wet. Yes. Answer the questions. Are Adam, Christy and Mikey in the park? If you look at the picture, you can see where they are. Why? I think I can hear some of you saying, Sheila teacher, the park. Yes, they are at the park. Yes. They are. Does Christy like rainy weather? Her last sentence. Remember her last sentence. She said, okay, rain is great, but I don't like getting wet. So, she doesn't. No, she doesn't. What's wrong with the park? What's wrong? Parkta ne sorun var? Sorun ne parkta? There is no water or plants and trees. Ne diyebilirsiniz? 
Ya da Extry kuru şeklinde kısa bir cevap da verebilirsiniz. Is there water in the fish pond? No. There isn't. Does Adam like rainy weather? Hatırlarsanız son resimde Adam çılgı diyordu. I love rainy weather. Yes. Olabilecek 
olma ihtimali olan şeyler hakkında tahmin yürütürken ne yapacağım? Be going to kullanacağım. In the future based on what is happening right now. Based bağlı demek. Yani şu anda olan şeylere dayanarak geleceğe dair tahmin yürütüyorum. Mesela gökyüzünde Adam miydi? Mike miydi? Siz söyleyin. Bulutları görmüştür ve ne demişti? Yağmur yağacak. Bulutları görmesi right now yani şu anda bulutları gördü ve ne tahmin etti? It's going to rain. Daha yağmur yağmadı. Yağmurun yağacağını tahmin etti. Olabilecek bir şey mi? Evet. Peki bir şeye dayanıyor mu? Evet. Çünkü bulutları gördü. Daha sonra ne oldu zaten? Yağmur gerçekten yağdı. Örnekle bakalım. It's 7 p.m. And the sun is going down. It's 7 p.m. And the sun is going down. This means sunset. Güneş bakması neydi? Sunset. It's going to get dark soon. Soon yakında. Yani yakında hava karışacak. Güneşin battığını görüyorum. Ne yapıyorum? Tahmin yürütüyorum. Güneşin battığını gördüğüm için diyorum ki hava karışacak. Yakında hava karışacak. Okay. Now let's look at how we make the sentence. Nasıl yapacağız bu cümleleri? Şimdi her zamanki gibi cümleye neyle başlayacak? Hep birazdan sınıfta olsaydınız söylerdiniz. Ne diyecektiniz? Are you she is subject. Subject. Subject ile cümleye başlayacak. Subject bugün ne olsun? She will. Yes. She will. Daha sonra elinizden kuralını hatırlıyorsunuz. Emizar kuralını aynen burada uygulayacağım. Yani I am, you are, we are, they are, he is, she is, it is. Be going to ya. Be going olduğu için buradaki be neydi? Am, is, are. Hatırlıyorsunuz değil mi? Be, emizar. İşte be going to and is on the road to. Ve infinitive. Infinitive sınıfta söylemiştim. Daima göreceksiniz. Ve ne demek? Fi ya bu halde sade. Ne es takısı var, ne aynıcıyı var, ne id var. Yani hiçbir şey on. Infinitive. Yes. She is going to play baseball this afternoon. Sınıfta olsaydı şu an teacher yine mi baseball derdiniz? Yes. Olumlu cümle yaparken ne yaptım? En güzel uygun şekilde getirdim. Going to feeling yalı cümlenin geri kalanı. Yes. Olumsuz yapın bu cümleyi. Sheila Şimdi bunu olumsuz yapacağım zaten. Bunu yapmayı biliyorsunuz Elizar'dan. Neydi? Isn't. Isn't. Going to play Baseball this after no.
is Sheila going to play baseball this after noon? Sorumu da bu şekilde sorduk. Yes. Siz defterinizi bunu geçirirken daha farklı cümleler kurabilirsiniz. Kendinize has bir cümle kurabilirsiniz. Bu çok daha iyi olur. Konuyu daha iyi anlarsınız. Devam edelim. sınıflarda bu karışık olacak. O yüzden şu an bu expressions of time hangi e, tense oturduğunu kaldırsanız ileriki tenslerde göreceğiniz 6. ve 7. sınıflardaki 8. sınıflardaki o zaman kavramanız daha çabuk olacak. Yes. Pass. Ben burada size hatırlatma yaptım. Biz sizinle present'a başladık önce. Sizinle ilk işlediğimiz tense, simple present. Zaman kalıplarımız neydi? Today, this week, now, as we speak, as we speak, konuşurken demek. At this moment, konuştuğum gibi. These days, at this moment şu an demek. Nowadays, bugünlerde, at this time. Bir de present, simple present'da ne var? Adverbs of frequency cümleleri kuruyordu. Always, usually, never vs. Gelelim past. Past the time expressions bunlar. Yesterday, last week, an hour ago, recently, a little while ago, a long time ago, in the past, this morning. Yes, now future. Defterinize yazacağınız kısım şu, daha öncekleri yazdınız. Future da tomorrow, next week, in an hour, bir saat içerisinde, is going to, nerede kullanacağız? Yakın gelecek zaman hakkında plan yaparken. In an hour da diyebilirsiniz. Bu da yakın bir gelecek. Bir saat sonra. Soon, yakında. In the near future, yakın gelecek. Bunu Görmüştük birinci slide'da. In the near future, way off in the future, eventually, later this evening, later this afternoon, later this morning. Sana uzak bir gelecekteki şeyler için, cümleler için kullanacağız. Yes. Now, oops. of be going to and the verb in brackets. Okay. Now, you remember the rules. I'm going to do number one with you together. Number two, number three, number four, number five, number six, number seven is homework. I know you can do it. You are very smart and intelligent students. Now, number one, what? WH questions are başlamış. Ama benim kurum hala geçerli. Elizar'la başlayacağım. Soru olduğu için gene Elizar'ımı başa almak zorundayım. Her ne kadar what soru kalıbını almış olsa da. What you subject hangisini alırdı? Are. What are you this 
we can't. Then you have them with a big old tool. Second old one. Bad one. This is old one. Yes. What are you going to do this weekend? Number two, number three, number four, number five, number six, number seven is homework. Write it in your books. I know you can do it. You are very intelligent students. Yes. Now, we have vocabulary words for our reading passage. Now, our Scientists study these signs and let people 
know if there is danger. Sergio lives in a town near Mount Etna, an active volcano in Italy. Etna erupted in July 2011 and in August 2011. I know it will erupt again, but I'm not scared. Etna is our mountain, says Sergio. Yes, I think you understand this paragraph. I'm not going to translate Turkish. It's easy. Let's continue. Answer the questions. What is a volcano? How many active volcanoes has Indonesia got? Which is the most dangerous volcano in USA? What are the signs before a volcano erupts? Where does Sergio live? These questions are easy if you read the paragraph carefully. If you listen to me carefully, you can answer these questions. This is homework two. No be going to. This is future simple. We use the future simple to make predictions about the future. We use will with their infinitive. Yes. Now, be going to the part we have will here.
I love all of you and I miss you. I want to see you in these seats in a very close time, I hope.